Today's guest is Tarion Williams, Stanford Free Safety, the playmaker. Tarion, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Glad to be here. Awesome. Glad to have you on. Well, let's begin. First off, since we last talked, you've had this spring for you, and I know that you've graduated high school, and they announced your name, the playmaker, when you walked across the stage. So what was that experience like for you finishing off high school? Oh, it was fin. It was good finishing off high school, uh, you know, just hard years through elementary, middle school, all the way through high school, uh, achieving great things throughout the process, meeting great friends, getting a good relationship, meeting mentors on the way. So just for it all to finally close out on a good note was uh, pretty good. Awesome. So you played in the Polynesian Bowl back in the winter, I think January, right? So take me through some of that experience and playing in such an interesting game like that. Uh, Polynesian Bowl was very... Uh, it was very exciting. Uh, you know, it was good. It was like once in a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, go out there to Hawaii. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful view. You go out there, uh, different sightseeing, uh, different interactions to go to. Uh, definitely excited. Definitely uh, was excited to meet all the guys that I met. Met different uh, connections. Met some new people, especially some of the West Coast guys that I'll see in the Pac-12. So it was it was a overall good experience. Gotcha. So heading into Stanford in the summer, you said you're getting enrolled in June and heading over for football activities. When you look at the recruiting class, getting to know them a little better, what's your first impression of the guys been? Uh, first impression is how connected we all are. Uh, you know, nobody's you know, over the top. Uh, we're all highly ranked, but uh, we're all very humble at the same time. We know, we know coming in that we have to take care of business. Uh, you know, once we, we want to hit the ground running, uh, come in where there's weightlifting on the field, uh, we want to be the class that uh, takes over for sure and when you look at now heading out to Stanford mentally preparing for the collegiate level what goes through your mind when you think of the upcoming transition for you uh what comes to my mind is uh just leaving home I mean you know going from east coast to west coast uh new uh new living style uh new people to be around but uh, it's just something that my parents have, you know, instilled in me, uh, you know, growing up. That's what the elementary, middle school, high school has prepared me for is uh, this move that I'm about to make and to uh, exceed over there in the West Coast also. For sure. And headed over to the West Coast. I know now with college football, you've got all kinds of different opportunities inside, outside of the game. There's NIL. There's different opportunities that you might choose to pursue. What are some things that you think you might be interested in outside of football and that new landscape for you? Uh, NIL, it's uh, definitely a, a new, you know, new form that uh, football and other athletes are taking, uh, taking account of, uh, taking a part of. Uh, definitely excited to be a part of that. Uh, definitely have some deals that are coming in and, uh, you know, weighing out options, uh, making sure that, you know, whatever best for me, uh, you know, and definitely uh, want to be able to use that to the best of my ability and also be able to expand my brand uh, the most uh, best and most respectful way. Definitely. Now, when you talk about your brand and how people think of you, what do you want people to think of or what do you want that brand to be when you go off to this collegiate level? I want my brand to be the playmaker, uh, you know, athletically and academically. Uh, people know me as the playmaker, whether it's making plays in the athletic uh, facility or making plays uh, in the grade book. Uh, and definitely uh, when I go out to Stanford, I also want my brand also to be a uh, respectful uh, young man, growing man, uh, definitely somebody that can you know be advertised um use used to you know build some build other brands along the way and to promote the younger generation okay and the playmaker take me through a few of your favorite plays from high school inside outside of football maybe a top three plays that you've made top three plays that i have made in high school uh you know number three uh I would say Rome game this past year. Uh, it was like a fourth and fourth and one. Uh, they're trying to go down the score. I think they're they're down by like five. Uh, so it's fourth and one. They're trying to go down the score. They did an RPO screen, uh, run pass option. He read the DN and pulled it, then tried to do a hitch pass. And I was coming around the corner, ended up jumping in the air, knocking down that pass. So it was just a good overall play. And that's number three because they were number we were number four uh, ranked coming in. They were number one ranked coming in and we were the underdogs coming in. So to be able to close the game out, uh, make a big play like that, uh, heads up play was good. Uh, number two, uh, man, 
would have to be <sighs> number two. Number two would have to be Marietta game my sophomore year when uh, we were in the final four. Uh, that's when Harrison Bailey was at quarterback. Arik Gilbert was at tight end. Uh, they had a stacked team and they were going in the score. It was, it was tied 14 to 14. Uh, they ran a post corner and I picked off Harrison Bailey on his post that he threw and uh, changed the uh, momentum of the game. Uh, number one, number one, Number one play play number one playmaker making plays on and off the field would have to be uh getting accepted into Stanford. Uh that would definitely have to be my number one. Uh it was uh I want to say it was it was during the season. Uh I was standing there with my coach and it's different from any other college. You have to actually be accepted as a regular student, not as a just as an athlete. So just sitting there uh, eager to get that uh definitely was number one. For sure. Yeah, and take me through the top play. When you got accepted to Stanford, what was that celebration, the reaction like from you when that news came in? Uh, I had to call Coach Shaw, so I gave Coach Shaw a call. Uh, my coaches, my head coach is standing in front of me. Uh, he's over there looking because I called Coach Shaw, and I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah, because Coach Shaw is talking. And then my head coach is looking at me trying to, you know, get a reaction like, oh, do I have to comfort him? Or, oh, did he just get in? So I'm over there, yes, sir, yes, sir. And then uh, Coach Shaw uh, tell me, tells me that I was accepted. So, you know, I'm over there excited, screaming, yes. So he's excited for me. Uh, uh, I was just excited to, uh, you know, be able to be accepted. And then I told my my dad, I told my dad, and he told me to play a joke on my mom until I didn't get in. So I did that joke, and she was about to start crying on the phone. So I had to tell her I was just playing. I did make it in. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and now with you heading off to Stanford and that football program, what do you feel like you bring to the table when they get you officially on campus? Uh, I feel like I bring uh, leadership, another coach on the field, and then the versatility on the whole back end. I'm able to play the free, the strong, the nickel, and the corner. So being able to play four different positions and be one player definitely brings a whole unique uh, aspect to my game. Uh, definitely excited to learn from those that are out there now and Coach Aquino. Gotcha. And I know back in January when we were DMing on Twitter and you said you're out there, you know, hoping to keep making plays and keep trying to change the world. What are some big goals or big picture things that you'd like to do to make the plays and change the world the way you say? Uh, big, big images I have in my, and big images and goals I have in my head. Uh, I'll say goals football wise, you know, uh, freshman All-American uh, this upcoming season, uh, you know, impacting on the field. But then off the field, I definitely want to impact the younger generation. I'll be new to the area, so definitely have to get my name out there. But, you know, uh, going to the hospitals, going to the elementary, middle schools, you know, trying to spread positivity into the world because, you know, it's a lot of positivity that needs to be uh, spread out. So just know uh, everybody doesn't have somebody to push them or, you know, give them some positive. So just be able to you know, go out into the world and spread some of that positivity is definitely a goal I have. Definitely. Well, for you trying to help other people, when you look at people that have influenced you, who are some of those people that have really influenced and helped you get to this point? Uh, I'll say my parents, number one, they're definitely my uh, top, you know, mentors, influencers, uh, working hard day in, day out, uh, never giving an excuse, always trying to put me in the best position to be successful. Uh, my past coaches that I've had from high school, middle school, uh, youth ball definitely all pushed me to be a better person. Uh, mentors, uh, you know, uh, uh, different mentors I've had through elementary, middle school, and high school uh, that I've, you know, been able to learn from. You know, great men that I've uh, been able to look under, look, uh, look under, and you know, see how they move throughout life and see, you know, the different aspects that they bring to the table and how they. Uh, impact different people's lives so uh definitely my top mentors and uh you know different teachers coaches that i've met on the way all right and when you look forward playing in the pac-12 i know there's a lot of programs a lot of traditions out there that of course are very notable and some things that you might look forward to so when you look at your experience coming up in the football world what are some things that you're most excited about when you look ahead to the fall uh as i look ahead to the fall i'm excited for pac-12 ball uh, they're going to air the ball out. You know, they're going to they're gonna go five wide, four wide. 
and uh, they're going to try to air the ball out. So I'm excited to go against high power offenses. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to go against uh, the new USC offense. Uh, you know, Lincoln Riley's out there now. So excited to go against them. And I'm also excited to uh, go against the guys that I've met, uh, you know, at the Polynesian Bowl or the All-American game, uh, the West Coast guys that, you know, I didn't know beforehand because obviously I'm on the East Coast. I, I know a lot of East Coast guys, but now I've met a lot of the West Coast guys, created connections with them. So excited to play against those guys. Awesome. Well, Terry, and that's all the questions I've got for you today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.